The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the, by the word of God. And faith inspires prayer. And prayer strengthens faith. And faith quickens and moves the believer. And this quickened faith moves mountains. It all begins from the word of God. From the original. The word of God. So I'm praying that God will quicken your faith as you listen to the word of God. Psalm 78 is an invitation to learn wisdom. The psalmist recites Israel's story in a parable in order to teach wisdom and insight. The story of what God has done should be told from generation to generation. Now why is this necessary? That the story of what God has done should be told from generation to generation. Now let's, let's go to Psalm 78. I'm preaching to the topic, can God? Can God? Can God? And I picked this statement from Psalm 78. So I'll start from verse 1. My people hear my teaching. Listening to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a parable. I will utter hidden things. Things from old. Things we have heard and known. Things our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord. His power. And the wonders he has done. He decreed statutes for Jacob and established his law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children. So that the next generation will know them. Even, even the children yet to be born. And they in turn will tell their children. Now also This is the answer. Then they will put their trust in God. And would not forget his deeds. Now keep his commands. They will not be like their ancestors. Now a stubborn and rebellious generation. Whose heart were not loyal to God. Whose spirits were not faithful to him. See, I'm saying that the story of what God has done should be told from generation to generation. Because the telling of the story of what God has done inspires faith and, and motivates God's people to obey his commands which should be 
Maintain faith and hope in the Almighty. So each generation should set its hope anew on God. Not forgetting the glorious miracles and obeying his commandments. You see, the telling of the story of what God has done I'm saying should be told from generation to generation. The telling of the story should inspire faith and motivates God's people to obey his commands. Why? God holds each generation responsible for its own response to its surroundings. So when there is a challenge in a particular generation, you don't expect those who lived before that generation to come and solve it. No. And she said, Oh, how big, but I want to see me more. And she said, I want to see me more. And I did who more are a beba. We need to solve our own problems in our own time. So if you don't tell about what the Moses did to our generation, Moses will not come back and solve our challenges for us. In this day, he parted the Red Sea. In our time, we need to part the COVID-19. If that story of what God has done is not told to a generation, they may not know how to deal with their surroundings. The Bible says if you don't take care, they will be like their fathers. That stubborn generation who turn their back. On Psalm 78 again. This time I will take it from verse 10. They did not keep God's covenant and refused to live by his law. They forgot what he had done. The wonders he had shown them. Because there has been a gap. Verse 12. He did miracles in the sight of their fathers. In the land of Egypt. In the region of Zuan. So and Pete Mu. He divided the sea and led them through. He made the water stand firm like a wall. He guided them with the cloud by day. And with light from the fire all night. He split the rock in the desert and gave them water as abundant as the seas. He brought streams out of a rocky crack and made water flow down like waters. But they continued to sin against him, rebelling in the desert against the Most High. They willfully put God to test by demanding the food they crave. They spoke against God, saying, can God spread a table in the desert? When he struck the rock, Water guys out. And streams flowed abundantly. But can he also give us food? Can, can he supply meat for his people? When the Lord heard them, he was very angry. His fire broke out against Jacob. And his wrath rose against Israel. Why? For they did not believe in God. Or trust 
in his deliverance. See, they questioned the ability of God. And that was abomination. You shouldn't say, can God because the definition of God is the one who is able so when you say can God that is why the scripture says they insulted God they spoke against God because you shouldn't question the ability of the creator of the heavens and the can God can God can God and the Bible says they tested him. You see, those who give tests, they have their answers. The examiners, they have their answers. So, so what the Bible said, they tested him. They had assumed the answer already. For them, it was going to be impossible for God to give them food in the wilderness. So they were impossible for God to give them food in the wilderness. Because they desired to go back to Egypt. So they know that now if he's not able to give us food, then it will be easier for us to return to Egypt. They thought his ability could not meet their demand. They wanted to go back to Egypt. Now what I'm praying that if in this difficult times we should be children of Abraham indeed. The man of faith who believed God who trusted in the deliverance of God the Bible says that as it is written I have made you father of many nations he is our father in the sight of God that is Abraham our father in the sight of God in whom he believed the God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. Let us be children of Abraham in the midst of this COVID-19. Let us not this sickness scare us and take away our faith from the omnipotent God. Let us be children of Abraham in faith he believed God. The God who caused things that are not as though they were. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believes. Against all hope. Abraham still found some space to believe. Abraham Against all hope. Abraham believed. And so became the father of nations. Just as it has been said of him. So shall your offspring be. Without weakening in faith. He faced the fact that. His body was as good as dead. Since he was about a hundred years. And that Sarah's womb was also dead. With that weakening in his faith. He faced the fact that his body was as good as dead. Because he was and hundred years old. And the wise womb was also there. You see, nobody should tell Abraham that. You see, he knew that he was 
you see, on one case, and, and, and he himself, himself, he could check himself. He could examine himself. himself. Oh, 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 <laughs> Abraham, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, for hundred years. Maybe I'm feel hard here. And the wife was also over age. That was a fact. We any assembly But you see, fact is something that actually exists. Say you can't fact. Say you bring it can one. A known idea, a woho. Unknown to exist. Ah, you name say a woho. A reality. A dia a woho. A you need to appear. That which has basis. Dia a woho ni naso. That is why the Bible says Abraham faced the fact. And not in a draw. I can say Abraham who said that his body was dead. Nini pedria a woho. He had all the basis to believe that his body was dead. A woho ni naso. O to me did tomb say nini pedria a woho. He was an old man. He knew what he was talking about. Oh, oh, yeah. Kokrana no nim di oka. That is a fact. He had basis. Na a woho ni naso. His 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 assumption was based on some basis. Yeah, na all dreni no na a woho ni naso. But you see, brothers and sisters. Na so enu yano marry man enu yano ma. I've come to tell you that there is something greater than facts. But my bab said my bab catch or said Bibi or what a source in the world, which is called truth. And none of your friend, no creno, the original. And no need ye adene fariba. That which is independent of anything else. And no the engine Bibi also the actual state of a matter. And none adene said ye tianka sanka sanka sanka. The integrity. And no, and a cry a moody. There is no mischa in that. I am for Bibia and Fry, the original. And no, and in a farabine, no. there is nothing that can be so original than God. Bibia, ni one more, and yet I dare no a pefe a sinning, I mean, independent of anything else. Ah, on Nani Bibia. A fact might not necessarily mean the actual state of a matter. It is a adie bi wo hoa ye hu se wo hoa na eno nkyere se eno ne adie no pote. The Bible says in the beginning God. Tron is say if it is say no onyame independent of anything else. Onyame na on dan bi bia. He is before the beginning. If not our heart and send them fit yes. The Bible says in the beginning, God, what does that mean? Say Tronica say fit yes, no on your hope, then or patch. That is the original of the original. And no any idea no pefe mu pefe. Before anything else. And send a bibia beban. He exists independent of anything else. Not our wa bibia on nine bibia. God is the reality. Or no any no creno. The beginning begins in him. He was before the beginning. Now our whole answer and fit is the truth. No wonder Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. So certain things could be fact. But don't let us take our minds off the fact that God is the truth. Romans 11 36 says this. For from him and through him and for him are all things. From him through him and for him are all things and everything dissolves into him it starts from him it ends in him and facts dissolve into the truth it doesn't matter and facts will always dissolve into God Facts will always dissolve into yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. So the Bible says Abraham faced the fact that his body was dead. Yet his eyes was on the truth. And so na, ne, ni, e, wo, no, kre, no, so. Yet he did not waver through unbelief. Wa, wa, ma, ni, jidi, ampa, regarding what God has said. E, wo, nyanko, po, asem, wa, waka, the word of God is the truth. O, nyami, asem, no, ene, no, kre. The word of God is the truth. O, nyami, asem, ene, no, kre. Regarding what God has promised. Ye, o, nyami, bo, sha, wa, sha, but was strengthened in his faith. Na, o, sha, ni, jidi, e, de. And gave glory to God. Na, o, de, nyo, nyam, e, ma, nyam, na, listening to this big one. Na, na, being fully persuaded that God had power to me. Can God? Abraham said, God had power. 
now to do what he had promised the Israelites said can God Israel for but listen to, me. to Abraham it is a fact that I am dead I cannot give birth. Me to me and I cannot cause a woman to conceive. Me to me share or bang in saying my wife's womb is over age. Me yiren so ni yefu no enyi ni abroso. But now so there is a God in heaven. Yawo onyame wa osro. The truth. Oye no kreno. And the Bible say he was fully persuaded. Na chwa ni say na onim pefe say that God had. Power to do what he had promised. And you see, for God to reveal his power, he also waited till Abraham was completely dead. <laughs> so that he, Abraham himself, will know that Kojo, uh, I'm dead. So that he will show his power. May God arise. Oh, and May his truth consume the fact of this COVID-19. In the name of Jesus. I have not come to deny the fact that this coronavirus is a deadly disease. But I came to tell you that there is some truth. There's a power that can swallow this coronavirus. And, and that is the truth. We have basis to believe that coronavirus is a deadly disease. Because it is claiming lies. The statistics are there to prove. We have basis to believe that. And that is what we call fact. But there is the truth. The original, the one who created us, this fat can dissolve in him. God is able. You see, one day, that could be. a young man died. He was from a small village called Nain. He was going to be buried. It was a fact that he had died. But somehow, the road that led to the cemetery, at the other end of the road, came Jesus. So now death is meeting life. Fact is going to meet the truth. And one must give way. When Jesus met this boy, factually dead, Jesus said, What is this? Dead. Put him down. Young man, I say to you, rise. Sorry. I want to encourage you. Don't let us. Be threatened by this virus. Don't let this virus take our faith in God away. Rather, let us be strengthened in faith and rise in prayer. And our God, the original, the truth, will consume this fact and the world shall be free indeed. In Mark chapter 5, the chapter begins with the story of the deliverance of the madman. Who had been living in the tombs. Then there was Jeros. And Jeros Ebemu who came to request Jesus to Obe. go and minister to uh, the daughter who was sick. And Obestre Jesus say Jesus enko bom pai ma ne baba na oyare. As Jesus turned to go to the house of Jairus. Ne bra Jesus dani ne ni say okọ Jairus fie no. Then came a woman with an issue. And the Bible says for 12 years she's been suffering, she's been bleeding continuously. 
She came from behind and touched Jesus' garment. It was a fact that she was bleeding. But Jesus is the truth. She touched Jesus' garment and the fact dissolved into the truth. Then when Jesus saw that somebody has actually tapped into him, he started questioning somebody has touched him. Because virtue has gone out of him. And the Bible said when the woman saw that she could no longer hide because Jesus was just going away. Now, So she came and then she said, please, I beg you. I am the one who touched you. Go, your fate has set you free. That was a long episode. But Jesus was going to Jairus' house. And then there was an interruption by this woman. By the time he finished dealing with the woman, people came from Jairus' house with some news. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from Jairus' house. The synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead. They said, Why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, Don't be afraid. Just believe. You see, the people came saying that your daughter is dead. They were coming with facts because they were coming from the house. Now, what they are every fear and eba. They knew that their daughter had died. And they told Jairus. And Jesus heard it. That was a fact. But he is the truth. But listen to that. You see, it is a fact that we are fighting with COVID-19. COVID-19. But the truth is that God is still on his throne. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And it is my prayer that this COVID-19 will dissolve into the truth. Overhearing what they say. There are so many stories about this COVID. This virus is threatening all of us. Locking down nations. Keeping nobles in quarantine. Causing Kayaes to run away and go back to the village. Scaring doctors. A doctor for above Some are taking by force leave. Some have brought in excuse duty. They are sick. Because COVID-19 is actually claiming lives. In a day, it can kill over 800 people. COVID-19 is carrying everyone. The question is, can God? Can God? The people said, we know. That he struck the rock and water came out. But can God? That statement is to question the ability of God. That is why God got angry. But to prove to them that he was able to do, he still gave them food. Yet so, he killed some of them. So this same God 
in As Jesus. Nasanya mia wo Yesu muno. Oba heard what they were saying. Or tell they are now walking. Your daughter is dead. Oba ba no we wu. And you see, for us in this part of the world, when we meet death, that is a termination. You don't go on ahead. Na yenga ye wo we are see ya ye wo ni fa ye wo. Se wo share owo de anache se wa bra bo ne wie ye na no. But Jesus said. Na so Yesu say. Don't mind them. If you want. Just believe. Because you are walking with the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me just read what they said. Your daughter is dead. They said, Why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said. Jesus told him. Don't be afraid. Just believe. I want to tell the world. We are not denying the facts of the COVID-19. But, but the truth is that Jesus heals. Jesus is the Lord God Almighty. Everything dissolves into Him. And I'm praying that He will rise to wipe away this COVID 19 from the planet Earth. Just by the blast of His nostrils, that He will cleanse the earth, that we will be free indeed. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Can God? Yes, God is able. God is able. Then Jesus said, he did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John. You see, this is Jesus. Okay, sir, the Bible says that he is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. Visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers. Or authorities. All things have been created by him and for him. He is before all things. And in him all things hold together. In him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body. The church. He is the beginning. And the firstborn from among the dead. So that in everything he might have the supreme answer. They were walking with the creator. And they were saying that someone is dead. How? How? So don't mind him. That is a fact. But I am the truth. Let's go back to Jairus' house. He went in and said to them, why all this commotion? And wailing. The child is not dead but asleep. See, the people thought that, where, where, where are you coming from? So the Bible said they laughed at him. Because they had the facts. They had the facts. This man is not even 33 years. And we, old ladies, we are crying. We are saying that this girl is dead and you are saying that it's us. But the Bible said they laughed. That's why they laughed. After he put them all out. He took the child's father and mother and, and, the, and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said and to her, Talita kum. 
Talita kum. Which means, little girl, I say to you, get up. Sorry. Immediately. The girl stood up and began to walk around. She was about 12 years old. At this, they were completely astonished. Can God can God save the situation that we find ourselves in? Yes, God can. He is the truth. We are not denying the facts. But everything dissolves in him. I've come to encourage you that we are not denying the fact of the COVID-19. So we are not saying that just go out and do whatever. But I want to inspire your faith. Don't be afraid. There is still the God in heaven who is our God in Ghana. Came to inspire your faith and to move you into prayer. Let us pray to the truth. Who will swallow this fact of COVID-19? COVID-19, He is still alive. He is not dead, but he is alive. Pray to God. He challenged the disciples that up until now you have not asked me anything. How? Which government can say that ask me anything? He is the original. Everything begins with him. And all things flow back into him. May the God that we serve swallow this COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. If you are listening to the sound of my voice, I don't want you to be afraid. And don't be like the Israelites. Don't look at the COVID-19 and say, can God? Don't question the ability of God. That is an abomination. Our God is able. Our God is able. Our God is able. Be encouraged. Let us rise into prayer. And the God who created the heavens and the earth, He will wipe this COVID 19 from the planet. Don't be afraid. He is with us. There are certain group of people on this planet. Earth. Who will always make the difference. They are called the children of God. If you are one of us, then take heart. It is not over yet. God is still alive. Let us keep crying unto him. And when he arises, there will be no way for COVID-19. God be with you. And God be with us. And God be with this world. And he rescue us from this wicked spirit of COVID-19. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.